Well, if you've been waiting for a statement and a comment from Disney on the firing of Gina Carano from Star Wars and The Mandalorian, they have officially given their statement as part of the latest Disney investors call. And it's the most PR statement of all time. So earlier today, we had a brand new Disney investors call. Now, this isn't on the size and scale of the one we had in December. This is a much smaller thing where they just address, uh, you know, new small updates and changes that are being made. What content is coming immediately and reflect on the most recent releases, a.k.a. WandaVision and so forth. And when it came to the Q&A section where investors that invest money in the company get to ask the uh, big questions, if you will, well, this was inevitably going to be brought up because as the Disney CEO sat up there, he was asked about Gina Carano and the whole situation. And here is what he said, and I quote, I don't really see Disney as characterizing itself as left-leaning or right-leaning, yet instead standing for values. Values that are universal. Values of respect. Values of decency. Values of integrity. And values of inclusion. And we seek to have not only how we operate, but the content that we make, reflective of the rich diversity of the world that we live in. And I think that's a world that we live in. And I think that's a world that we all should live in, in harmony and peace." End quote. So like I said, this is the most PR way to go about it, and it honestly makes sense. Um, I know some people, when they figured, hey, somebody's gonna ask the question, what's Disney going to say? And there was people that were expecting some sort of like backhand comment or something, and that was never going to happen from the CEO of Disney. And as he says, you know, this is what they're striving for, that's their statement. And that's more or less the last you're going to hear of it from them from this point on. Like, there's going to be no additional comments or anything. Unless, again, it's brought up in a situation like this. Or it somehow impacts what's happening with The Mandalorian. Like, let's say when the next season comes out. If the numbers are really low and the product is down and stuff, it's going to get brought up again because people are going to ask if that's an impact and they'll have to address the situation and see what happens. But as of right now, this is about what you would expect and I don't think they're ever going to comment on this again unless it's really something that is impacting them as a whole.